In this video, I'm going to show you a powerful masking technique inside of Camera Raw to target specific colors. The first step is to convert the background layer into a smart object. You can right click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. A smart object is a container that allows you to apply non-destructive adjustments, distortions, filters, and transformations. In other words, you can always come back and make changes. Next, I'm going to go into the filter menu and select Camera Raw Filter. The Camera Raw Filter gives you total control of tonal and color adjustments. You can also apply selective adjustments using the Adjustment Brush. You can click on the Adjustment Brush and paint over the areas that you want to affect. So I can just simply paint over the yellow parachute and the reflection below. If you can't see what you painted over, you can click on this checkbox, Mask Options, to see the areas that you painted over. You can obviously click on the Erasure tool and subtract from that selection. This will be a little more tedious, and in some cases, it might be a little difficult for you to deselect some areas that have a lot of detail, like in the reflection here in the water. Now, the white overlay indicates the areas that will be affected by my selective adjustments, all the sliders and controls on the right hand side. Let me show you what I mean. I'll disable the mask and scroll down into the hue slider and I can click and drag to shift the hue of these colors. Notice that the parachute is now green, but I'm also affecting the water, making it purple because those were the areas that I painted over. And to avoid this, we're going to create a mask, but not a layer mask. In Camera Raw, you can add use traditional layer mask, but we have something that is just as powerful. So let me show you how that works. From the Range Mask dropdown, select Color. Photoshop will automatically select the Sample Color tool, the Eyedropper tool, and I can click directly over the image to select a color. For example, if I click on the Parachute, I'll select the original yellow that was found here, and that is the color that Photoshop will target to apply my adjustments. And notice that when I click on that, most of the color that we had around the water disappears. It's not a perfect selection, but it's pretty close. If I hold Alt on Windows, Option on the Mac, and click on the Color Range slider, you will see the mask. White reveals, black conceals. The areas in white will reveal the effect, and the areas in black will hide the effect. And I can also drag the slider to the left to subtract pixels that are similar to the ones that I'm sampling from or to add pixels that are closer to the ones that I'm sampling from. In this case, I probably want a lower color range just to affect the parachute and the water. But notice that I'm not quite affecting the parachute here. I can add to the sample pixels by holding shift and clicking again with the eyedropper. Notice now that I have two eyedroppers here, indicating that I have two sampled areas, and I can even do something much, much better. If you hold Shift, you can click and drag and create a selection, and now I have a range of pixels selected. Also notice that the eyedropper icon also has a selection icon next to it as well. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add more ranges of colors to my selection, like so. And again, I'm holding Shift, and clicking and dragging to create those sample points. You can only create up to five sample points. We have one, two, three, four, five. If I click again while holding shift to create a sixth one, Photoshop will tell me that I cannot do that. I am only limited to five samples. I'll close this out and I can now come in and make adjustments with the hue slider or any other sliders found in this panel. Also notice how I'm not affecting this area here in the water. I can always come back with the brush tool and make sure that I add to the current selection and I can just paint over those areas accordingly. And of course, Photoshop will remember my color range mask. When you're done, you can press OK. And since we're working with a smart object, you can always come back and edit this adjustment by double clicking on the camera raw filter label in the layers panel. When you do, the camera raw filter will open up again and you can adjust it any way that you want. To bring up the brush tool once again, you can press the K key on the keyboard, enable that point, and you can make any adjustment that you want. Also, if you decide to try out this technique, feel free to share it on Instagram with the hashtag PTCVids. I would love to see what you came up with. My name is Jesus Ramirez. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again in the next Photoshop tutorial.